Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to do a really exciting Dutch pour tonight. Um, you may have seen some of my previous um, uh, Dutch pours, um, these in, in the background. I did four really um, elegant Dutch pours that matched. So they all used the same colours, but I varied the base colour each time. So there was the Caput Morton Violet, the gold base, there was a pale Caput Morton Violet and the iridescent blue black base. So there's four of them. So I'll include a picture if I, if I remember. Um, so what I have decided, I'm not going to do any more of that series um, because the series has been bought um, and it's, it's complete. Um, but what I'm going to do now is one painting that has, it's a split colour base with all four of those colours on one base, on one painting. So um, it's going to be an experiment. We'll see what happens. So the canvas I'm using is a 16 by 24 inch canvas. Um, I've drawn on some lines here. They're rough lines because I wanted to divide the canvas into four parts, but I wanted, I wanted the, each of the four parts to be to be a reasonable area. I didn't want just a small fourth one. I wanted a reasonable amount. So I've divided it into four. So the four colors I'm using, so this is Caput Morton Violet by Amsterdam, and it's got just a hint of white in it. This again is Caput Morton Violet, but it's got more white in it. So it's a paler version. Um, and then I've got Pebio Studio Acrylics Gold and Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent, oh that's too thick, um, Iridescent Blue Black. For some reason this colour just is so thick, however much water I add, it just doesn't seem to, to thin as much. So the idea is to do each part of the base, the, one of these four colours, and then the design for the um, Dutch pour will have all of these colours in as well. So it basically matches the um, the the four paintings that I did previously, um, but all on one. So I think my plan is to have this as um, a portrait painting, but I'm going to I'm going to stand to the side, so it's going to be landscape for now. Um, but with that in mind, I think I'm going to go blue, pale violet, gold, dark violet. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's start putting some of this base down. All my paints have been mixed with Flood Fluoritrol. Um, so it's two parts Flood Fluoritrol, one part paint to three quarters of a part water, unless it's an iridescent, um, and in which case I add one part water instead of three quarters of a part. So I normally use a hairdryer to blow the base out, but I'm a bit nervous of doing that because I just think I might um, get paint everywhere. Right, that's the base down. It doesn't matter in the slightest that it's not completely straight because I'm obviously going to blow it out. It doesn't matter at all. Um, although this is quite a narrow gap here. Right, what 
what I meant by a narrow gap is when I put the, the design colours down, I'm obviously going to blow those out, so I don't want them to be too close together. So I push the pink into the gold and then the gold into the deeper violet. Right, let's put some colours down then. So, um, bronze, I'm going to use the bronze first. So the bronze I'm using um, is uh, Amsterdam bronze. So I've used this in all four of the paintings. And I've always put the bronze down first in all four. So up here, let's have a think, I'm going to put the light violet, the white, and I've got a bit of even darker um, Caput Morton violet with absolutely no um, white in, just the true colour. And then I think on all of these, I'm going to finish with the white because the white will really stand out against these lovely colours. Oh, blue. Oh, I can't believe I forgot the blue. No, I'm putting blue on top then by the looks of it. OK, right, that's fine. So this one, let's not forget the blue. Bronze, let's go for the dark violet. And in fact, I'll do that here as well. This one will have the light. No, no, it won't have the light. What am I talking about? That one will have the gold. This one I'll have the blue. And then the white. It's going for a tiny bit more of the dark violet just to finish that up. On this one. Right, I think that's done. So let's just torch that. Right, to blow this out, um, I want to keep it really simple. I want to try and keep some negative space. I'm going to do very little blows at just a very slight angles. I like it to start with. I've got lots of the individual colours, which I really, really like. Um, but I need to sort out the edges now. I like the I like the initial fanning out of the colours. Um, but I now just need to tweak everything. I'm a bit disappointed that the gold got lost in there. What I might do is try and fill that. 
I'm just pulling a little bit of gold on just to try and push those bits apart. Right, I'm not sure about this. There are parts of it that I absolutely love. The colour scheme, um, I knew I was going to love that. Um, I love these colours together. Um, it looks very, very busy. Um, and my daughter just came and had a look and she thought I just poured too much gold in the centre. So it almost looks like I've poured the base on top of the the design, if that makes sense, um, until and then I explained to her that no, I put the base down. Oh, sorry, the base down first, and then the design colours on top. Um, just not sure. Um, colours are amazing. The cells. Let me take you and show you the some of the cells. They have just come out beautifully. There's some absolutely stunning cells, um, and I think it's come about because there's just a lot of iridescent colour um, on here. Just absolutely beautiful reactions of the different paints together. Um, I think it will really depend on how this dries. Um, I'm hoping that as it dries, that gold will just settle a little bit more into the background. It might not, I don't know. If it doesn't, I might end up embellishing it or adding to it somehow or just trying to define it um, more. In fact, I do think it looks better back when you stepped back. Maybe I've maybe I've just I've been it's so busy in 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 the painting for so for so long now blowing out these extra bits. Um I love these really irregular bits. I had so much paint on the canvas, so much base, I didn't blow enough off really, um, but it meant that I could just really be in control of all of these edges. Um, and they're very, very choppy, which is I, I'm really pleased with. I really like it like that. Right, fingers crossed. I'll be back when it's dry. So here it is dry. Um, I don't know about this one. I'm still so on the fence with it. I'm still so unsure. Um, if I'm being totally, totally honest, and I hate to say this, I'm not that keen on it. Um, I love the colours. Um, I'm happy with the composition, but I just feel it's just a bit too much. It's too fussy. Um, I think if I just use three colours for the split base, that would be entirely different. Um, I'm just, do you know what? I think it's just this gold band. I'm not sure. If I think, I think if I'd had the blue. And the two violets, the blue in the middle, I think that might have worked. I don't know. I really need everyone's opinion on this, whether to keep this or paint over it, because I just don't know. There were some details which are gorgeous. Um, the colours are gorgeous. I love the colours. Um, and the cells and the, just the little details are so, so pretty. Um, I like the wispiness. I love these wispy, irregular edges. Um, so there were a lot of pluses but I'm just not convinced it works together as a piece. I just feel it's a bit a bit too much of it over the top. Um, I hate to say that, I hate to be negative, but I, yeah, I, I've got to be truthful as well. Let me know what you think. What shall I do? Shall I keep it? Shall I um, paint over it? Could I embellish it? Can you think of anything I could do to, I don't know, to change it, to improve it? I'm really, really stuck with this one. I really don't know what to do. Please let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, just let me know, but politely. But I'll, I'll take any comments you have. <laughs> Great. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. Bye.